Illustrations by Brian Root Interview by Keely Weiss November 6, 2017 If you've picked up a piece of Star Wars merchandise in the past 10 years, you can thank Brian Root since the release of Episode 3. The illustrator has been responsible for defining and guiding the visual style fans of the franchise know and love. Here at Harper's Bazaar, we know a thing or two about having a reputation for iconic imagery, so we enlisted Rude's help in today's supermodel Star Wars by asking him to cast the industry's reigning catwalk queens in classic scenes from the franchise. To wit Kaya Gerber pulling a Princess Leia amid Hoth's snowy tundra, or the Haddads emerging from the Millennium Falcon. Working from his studio in Michigan, Rude walked us through his artistic process and told us what it was like to draw Taylor Hill stormtrooping the gangway of the Death Star. Harper's Bazaar you've played such a big role in determining the modern visual style of Star Wars. How much of that came from your style as an artist and how much of it came from Lucasfilm advertisement continue reading below Brian Root honestly, a lot of it has been a huge jambalaya of a little bit of them and a little bit of me. I mean, obviously, you get art directed pretty extensively when you're dealing with a property like Star Wars, you don't really get free reign to do with it as you wish. But I've been working with Lucasfilm for the better part of 13 or 14 years, and some of the stuff I've done in the past with the fine art line is very much something I get to develop as long as it gets approved by them and I don't take the property in weird directions. Bella and Gigi Hadid, The Empire Strikes Back HP What year did you come on board the franchise? BR What year did I try to start working with them or what year did I actually laughs from the very beginning of my career, I wanted to work with Lucasfilm, so I really politely pestered and hounded and tried to put myself in the right place at the right time where the right people were having dinner. So, I politely pursued them for probably close to a decade, and right before episode 3 came out was when I got my foot in the door with the first official Star Wars gig. It definitely went above and beyond anything I ever thought, never in a million years did I think it was going to be this ongoing thing. It's like a dream come true. HB yeah, you're the guy now. And the remarkable thing about your work is that it feels very modern, but it's still a continuation of the same style as the illustrations from the original movies. BR I'm stoked you recognize that. That's something I had in the back of my mind, for instance, when we started the storybook project. I'm essentially doing an illustration for every minute and a half of screen time. It's about 100 illustrations per film that I've done now for episodes 1 through 7. I'm in the stages now of working and finishing up episode 8's storybook. So we're talking close to 1,000 illustrations in total, and they needed to look very familiar style-wise to what people have seen before, but we tried to breathe a little new life into it as well so it would appeal to the kids nowadays too as well. Taylor Hill, a New Hope advertisement continue writing below HP how did you go about developing that style with an eye towards the heritage of the franchise. BR on accident, laughs being such a slave to photo reference, that's the beginning part of the process for me. I gather up all the reference I can and that's where the creative process starts I sit back and I start narrowing down which shot I want to use of the main character and what background I want to use. It's like a big puzzle. I have to have all my source materials sitting out there in front of me, and that's where the design element starts, in my head, at least. It doesn't make much sense for me to sketch something out knowing I'm never going to find the shot of this actor looking like this. It's a painful road to go down, because the art directors and editors get their hearts set on that initial thumbnail and then you have to revise it and change it based on the material I actually have to work from. And yeah I'll get, hey, I wanted him in that pose, and it's like, but that one doesn't exist so then you have to figure out how to pose it and shoot it and model it. It's a lot better when you already have source material. HB tell us about the illustrations you did for Harper's Bazaar. What did your collaboration with the editors look like? BR they came through and they went through some of the storybooks that I had done and picked out some of their favorite iconic scenes from the Star Wars films, with backgrounds everybody felt familiar with that you've seen a million times, and they had a list of the models in those scenes that they wanted with the outfits they wanted. You know, kind of replace Luke with Kendall Jenner. So that's kind of how that evolved. Kai Gerber, The Empire Strikes Back HP in all the aspects of the brand that you've worked on, where do you get to have the most fun? BR doing the storybooks is really fun because we're reinventing some classic scenes from the film that everybody knows, and oftentimes well kind of pitched from a different angle. Well painted up in a way by using multiple sets of references and source material, so even though it's a familiar scene and you feel like you've seen it before, it's something new for the fans to get a kick out of oh, we didnt see it from that camera angle up so are you trying to tell us that Han shot first? BRI ain't going nowhere near that. Gotta leave a mystery in there somewhere, I'm not gonna be the guy that said any of that it was worth a shot. 
BR Honestly, the funnest thing about Star Wars from an illustrator's standpoint is that you get to dabble in a lot of different cultures with the Star Wars films. If I'm doing a fine art painting, I can almost do a Wild West painting, or I can do a very hard sci-fi tetchy painting, or I can make it more fantastical. I mean, that's the beauty of the Star Wars films to me they touch on so many levels and subject matters, and it's cool creatively to spread your wings a little bit in so many different genres all inside of one film franchise. Advertisement continue reading below Kendall Jenner, A New Hope special thanks to Samira Ibrahim, Michael Siglin, and the brilliant minds at Lucasfilm and Disney. Star Wars The Last Jedi opens in U.S. theaters on December 15. This article originally appears in the November 2017 issue of Harper's Bazaar.